Tempest here, hello and welcome to Tempest Weekly. This time we're going to talk about game balance and just explore some thoughts there. Though we will not be looking at World of Warcraft and other MMOs for this weekly. So if you want to tune in for that, then best to subscribe for when it comes out. Anyway, let's talk game balance in games like StarCraft 2, Dota 2, League of Legends and all of that. Now, all these games need to be balanced and the developers really want them to be balanced because all these titles want their shot at being involved in eSports as that means huge publicity, lots of hardcore players joining the game to compete and lots of newbies drawn in by watching the hardcore players pull off some godlike moves. So let's assume for the sake of this discussion that everything above is true and that they really want these games to be as balanced as possible. So let's start with StarCraft 2. Why is that so hard to balance? I mean, you've got three races, they all have units that counter units, etc. It's all good, right? Yeah, it might be, but this isn't chess. You're playing with more pieces and each side has different pieces. In order to make the different races appeal to different types of players, we have to make them really different. Because if we only had one race, say Terran, sure the game would be pretty damn balanced, but it would also be pretty damn boring. Every game would be pretty much the same. You wouldn't really have any options at all. It would suck. Okay, so we can't just make these things balanced. We also have to make them interesting and unique. Okay, cool. That doesn't sound so tough. You've got Protoss, Terran, and Zerg. They all have different mechanics for making units. No sweat. All done. Yeah, but now you need to add even more depth to the game. So let's start with maps. You have to have a choke point at your ramp because of Zerg, etc, etc. So now not only do we have to balance the races and all their units and how they interact with other units, but now we also need to do the same for the maps. And we can't just have one perfect map because again, that's boring, so let's make several. Now after who knows how many months of tweaking and retweaking, let's say we finally have it balanced and everything is fine. Except, oh wait, some total badass just invented a strategy that turns the whole game on its head. So it's back to work, I guess. But now we can't, because you have to give the players some time to figure out a response to this new thing. So no matter how good you are at balancing the game, you have that one factor, that one variable that just completely stuffs up everything you do with balance. But again, on the flip side, while the players might break the game, they also fix it again, when they find new ways of dealing with the new strategies. So every time a new strategy comes out, you have to sit back and watch to see how players are dealing with it. Because you can make the game as balanced as you want, but let's face it, humans are really overpowered. You don't agree? You don't think human beings are overpowered? Okay, okay, if you don't think we're overpowered, then just explain to me how we are the only known animal so far, barring any conspiracy theories, that has gone from barely surviving in caves to building massive fortresses with high-tech machinery. It starts getting really difficult to balance when you have to account for the overpowered human factor, yet they seem to get it pretty close. Okay, so enough of StarCraft 2, let's look at Dota 2 and the League of Legends. Now, you've just multiplied the OP human factor by 5 aside. You now not only need to balance each hero, but how each hero interacts with every other hero. But no, wait, there's more. You also need to balance how they interact with the map, how they interact with items, how they interact with creeps and neutrals. And to top it off, you do not have enough heroes for people to play, and guess what, they'll stop playing, so you have to keep coming out with new ones. Yeah, but oh, wait, there's even more. I know, I'm starting to sound like a bloody infomercial, but hey, what can you do? Alright, what more is there? The more part is that you can't just balance the game at a high level of play. You know, for the hardcore players. Oh, no, 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 you still need to balance the game for the newbies who are just joining, and everyone in between them and the hardcore players, and quite rightly so. Balancing a game is a bit like doing a simultaneous equation with about 400 equations and 62,000 variables. Another way to describe it is to call it a royal bloody pain. Anyway, that's it for this Tempest Weekly. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, then be sure to comment, rate, and subscribe for more!
You can also follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash dgtempestfugit. There is a link in the description. Feel free to leave some of your thoughts in the comments section below or on the Twitters, or both if you want. Good luck, and have fun.